Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Milton Walker. Jamaican businesses could face higher loan rates if lenders fulfill an indication to hike rates to the sector. The lenders, in response to a Bank of Jamaica survey, said they, pl they plan on hiking interest rates on loans to businesses. The rate hike will affect loans made in both local and foreign currencies. The increase was planned despite repeated calls from the finance minister for lower interest rates and a recent reduction in indicative rates by the Bank of Jamaica. Despite hiking rates to businesses, lenders said they would reduce interest rates on personal loans. Meanwhile, the US dollar continues to lose strength, with its value going down for a sixth straight day on Wednesday. At the end of trading today, the greenback was selling for an average of $128.57, the lowest it's been since August 25. The Canadian dollar is selling for $103.42, sterling cost $168.53, while the euro is going for $153.48. We look now at petrol prices. On the international market last week, prices were down. But what's happening on the local scene? For that, we join Dashan Hendricks at the Smart Board. Dashan? Well, we have some good news for consumers this week. Petrodrama has announced a decline in petrol product prices all across the board. Let's start by looking at both E1087 and E1090 gasoline. They are to decline this week by 78 cents each. It's the fifth straight week in declines for the price of both grades of petrol and the price the decline brings them now to the lowest they have been in some seven weeks the price of regular diesel it goes down this week by one dollar and forty cents while low sulfur diesel goes down by one dollar and 15 cents the price of kerosene it declines as well this week going down by some 82 cents cooking gas the propane variety is down 78 cents while butane goes down by 73 cents it's now back to you Caribbean Cream has released financials showing its profit took a hit in the first six months of the current financial year. The company's financials show profits dipped 40% in the six months to the end of August. The realized profit at the end of the period was $70 million. Stock prices eased further today, pushing the JC index down 181 points while the junior market index is up 9 points. Stocks posting gains included Cable & Wireless, Sibini Group, Jetcon, Kingston Wharves, Lasker Manufacturing, NCB Financial Group, Pulse Investments and Supreme Ventures. Those stocks posting losses for their investors included 1834 Investments, CAC 2000, Dermont Trading, Jamaica Broilers, KLE Group, Portland JSX and T-Tech. Jamaica's private sector is looking out for brothers in Dominica. Today started to load containers with relief supplies for that country. The supplies, which were raised through an appeal by businessman Krishna Vaswani, are enough to fill three 40-foot containers. Those containers are scheduled to leave Jamaica this weekend to arrive in Dominica seven to ten days later. They are to be received in Dominica by that country's emergency organization committee and the Dominican Chamber of Commerce for distribution to thousands of people there who need the supplies. That's the business day. I'm Milton Walker. Good evening.